today? Hi. Um, today, what I have here is a stone mat. Stone mat? A recent addition to my facility. So this is, uh, I use this for warm up and warm down, just walking on the stones, just to work on the plantar fascia, because uh, uh, based on our my on my previous videos, I've mentioned about uh, about how the feet is your only contact with the ground. So how much weight you carry, how much force you exert, your feet will feel it. Okay, so your feet sends a, sends a signal to the brain to tell the body how much force to exert. Okay. So by walking on the stones, it's impose, it improves the sensitivity of your feet, improves the neural drive up to the to the brain. Okay, and not only that, when you walk on stones, you also uh, feed back to your lower back because most of the nerves in your feet, in fact, all the nerves in your feet, they come from the L1 to L5 region of your lower back. So just by walking on the plantar fascia, you are actually working on your lower back. So for people with lower back conditions. I'll definitely recommend walking on stones for up to 10 minutes. And how we can do is walking on stones, you can not only walk, you know, like that, feel the bottom of your feet, you know, find the sharpest stones and work on it, you know, and not only that, you can also work on just being on one leg, okay, just trying to feel as you shift your weight from the heel to the toe, okay. And this also helps for people with, let's say, if you have got uh, had an ankle sprain and you are very susceptible to ankle sprains, it's likely because your your uh, foot uh, lacks proprioception, as well as your ankle your ankle lacks the mobility. So, using these stones will help you improve that proprioception in the foot, especially after an ankle sprain. So. What I'm doing here is that now I'm standing on one leg. Let's say my left leg is the one that, is, that always gets ankle sprain. So I'm stabilizing on one foot now. So I shift my weight from the heel to the toe just to feel, just to improve that sensory input to the brain. And then I weight shift, I move my leg towards the right. So you can see that I'm not only stabilizing using my ankles, it's my knee as well as my hip, right? And also definitely you'll feel it on the foot on your left side. So you see, I'm just working on different angles as my body shifts from left to right, front to back. I'm working on ankle stabilization as well as working on the proprioception in my foot and my toes as well. This is what I do. I can even do like really just working on, working on the heel, working on the weight shift. I can feel every part of my foot. So this really helps for people with ankle sprains. Uh, I've seen this in those uh, parks. Mm -hmm. uh, so they do this barefoot as well? Or yeah. can they wear shoes? Or? Well, in the park, I would definitely recommend that you take off your shoes mm -hmm. to do it. Uh. The good thing about having this mat here is that I can do it even when the weather is bad. So, uh, so you see, for example, what I do is that I'll just walk on it, find a area where it's sore, and then I just stretch my calves at the same time. All right then, if I really want to walk on my big, on my toes, I just have to lift up the heel. So just really work on the toes. Okay, so I'm just really working on the weight shift. Okay, so this is a really good. I would say a uh, warm up and warm down because you can do this warm up before you do your deadlifts and squats. You'll find that your neural drive actually improves. You can actually, you might even squat heavier because you're able to feel more of your feet. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you.